so we are given a sphere inside which the charge density is varying as this function we need to find the electric field at the center not center actually at a distance r both inside and outside the ball and what should be the maximum value of that field and the corresponding distance rm okay so since the charge distribution is symmetrical as it's a function of r we are going to use cos law so for that we need to calculate the charge inside a surface so let's say our shell consider a shell at a distance r and width dr why shell because on a shell the rho is going to be constant the charge on that elemental shell is rho r into dv rho r is rho not 1 minus r by r and dv is 4 pi r square dr so just integrate it and put the limits of r from 0 to r and we'll get our q r which is this so remember we are not integrating it completely we are finding the q up to the distance r which is this because we want to calculate the field at this point so on this surface then we will calculate the field by cos law so er into 4 pi r square is equal to q by epsilon so you put the value of q from here to here and we get e inside as this so rho naught by epsilon r into 1 by 3 minus r by 4 r now for outside any point q enclosed is going to be the q inside the sphere so here instead of 0 to r we need to put the limits 0 to capital r so then if you just put capital r here you will get your e out as this q r which we will get from here divide by epsilon divide by 4 pi r square which will give you your answer so remember here when we used cos law it was 4 pi small r square is equal to q small r by epsilon but here it is q capital r by epsilon because for outside q enclosed is all the charge inside the sphere but here it was only up to the distance small r so we got e in and e out now let's find the maximum intensity so outside the intensity cannot be maximum because the field has to decrease outside but inside somewhere we can find the maximum field so we'll take this d in and differentiate it with respect to r and if you do that you will find that at r is equal to 2r by 3 we get our e max because this term becomes zero so if you put this 2r by 3 here you will get the value of e max which is rho naught r by 9 epsilon which is our answer